Um, you know, the basic things are fasting. Intermittent fasting has shown just incredible results. Um, so is water fasting. So I definitely look into that. Plus it's free. Um, the other supplement that's absolutely mandatory is vitamin D. So make sure that uh, you have adequate vitamin D, not just for um, the pandemic right now, but just for long life and immunity. I would say that those two things are the most important. Uh, what can we do today? You know, I always say, let's do the obvious first. So obviously having a very healthy um, diet, uh, eating um, a live food, yeah? Um, and uh, doing the obvious also means moving and sleeping well and, and loving and, and uh, being positive. That's really key. You know, it really helps the vagal tone to live that way. And that leads to that coherence that that Alex just touched on. But one two, couple words that I'd like to bring to our, um, to our lexicon here is senescence and pluripotency. And not only physical senescence, also cognitive senescence. Uh, you know, old world thinking needs to go. Uh, thanks, by the way, Nuno and everyone for a, for a really great um, inspiring conference. I agree with Alex and Denise uh, um, about, we're calling it obvious, but it's amazing how the obvious gets forgotten sometimes when we think about some of the radical high-tech solutions that are really exciting and that seem to be around the corner. But lifestyle factors have been shown to make a dramatic impact on longevity and well-being. And uh, obviously diet is one of them, but Denise was emphasizing things are often forgotten and are really important. And it's been brought into sharp relief during the pandemic, I think, for a lot of people who live alone. Yeah, my, my approach for this, uh, for, for a comment about this, is um, in the perspective of the, um, to the process and the system of health. The, what is, can we do today for the, Health longevity, and this is means um, it's means to thinking in the what is the first, and um, now the source for of the current biomedical paradigms based on this S model may be limited in the future because of um, larger numbers of comorbidities inflicting older peoples. And um, to get back to your question, um, this year actually I'm focusing on doing small habits because um, we're in a more stressful time than, than we're generally. And um, the habits that work tend to be the habits that you do. And the smaller they are, the more likely, uh, at least for myself, but I think for people in general, the more likely you are to do them. Thank you for having me and uh, thank you for providing this, uh, uh, this forum for the world. Uh, what you're doing is important work and uh, the world that's in lockdown right now, a hundred and uh, I, heard it, I heard a recent news report, 189 countries are in lockdown. And so the world has come to a grinding halt uh, over a virus which has yet to be, uh, yet to be isolated and yet to be proven. And uh, we have uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, amazing weight on the on the shoulders of humanity, and uh, you're doing something very important right now. And I want to thank you for that. Uh, I think the world should thank you for that because you're moving ahead the boundaries of science in ways that other people are not. So uh, God bless you. Yeah, of course. Actually, this topic is very timely uh, because right now I'm I'm working on an article with Vogue. I mean, I mentioned this to you, Nuna, and it's about longevity. Um, and actually, what I find out because my thing, I work with people's minds. I work with people's, you know, 
psychology and actually one of my mentors is Dr. Joe Dispenza, which um, whom we already mentioned before because he's 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 a really huge person in, in the space about how to keep your mind and body healthy and basically reverse any disease. They still don't take care of of what they eat. They don't take care about exercising. They don't take care about sleep. So I think it's very important like conferences like this, uh, us like as scientists having like um, using our voices to show like real data, scientific data and educate people about what is really um, already proven, what, what can be done and like opening their mind to to some small habits that uh, for us, it seems they are all obvious already, but there are still a lot of people out there that uh, doesn't practice this. Like other players that it's very important to think about those coins, but according to me, if I'm speaking about my work and my personal thought, I think the answer is digital literacy and proficiency. I think that if we're going to ask the elderly people, most of them will say that they want to live 